Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie for those who are new and welcome to another Shop My Stash two weeks because I do use my products for two weeks on this channel just to get some use of my products. But let's just jump straight into the Shop My Stash. You already know how this goes. I've been really rotating a lot of stuff in this drawer which I'm really happy about and I've been getting rid of stuff that has not been working for me which I'm very proud of myself that I'm doing and not just hoarding. Behind the scenes, I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible, and y'all know this is so good. But I think I want to use something else because I've been using that all this weekend pretty much. But I want to use the OG, like the girl that started it all. So I'm going to pull out the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. This is the matte, the original, and I've been using the Dewy one as well, and that one is really, really good. But I'm going to use this one this week, you know, bring it back. And I just skipped primers, didn't I? I so did. Doo, 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 doo. I used all of these pretty much. Like, been good with rotating stuff, you know? Thinking about the grip primer, but I'm really not a fan of it. But I think that I should pull it out just to see if I really still like it. So I think I'm going to pull out the grip primer. And if I don't like it, I think I'm just going to declutter it this week. So I'm putting, putting this to the test. So I think for concealers i want to go into my high-end stuff because i haven't been playing with these often so i think i want to use either fenty or born this way i think it's i'm gonna use born this way just because i really like this and i haven't used it in a little bit now but this is the born this is the Too faced born this way naturally radiant concealer in the shade medium, this stuff is so good. I'm such a fan of it. I have backups back here because I really, really enjoy this concealer a lot. For correctors, I haven't used this in a while either. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Correcting Palette. One is to cancel out redness. The other one is for, you know, just color correcting period, like dark spots and stuff like that and brightening and all that fun stuff. Moving down to the next drawer. For blushes, I was thinking about these two Catrice blushes here. This is the Catrice Cosmetic Blush Box. This is a waterproof and sweatproof formula. My favorite has to be this bronzy shade right here, which is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty and it's actually ironic because the shade is bronze. It's super pretty on the cheeks. I love it. And also this one in golden coral. Almost popped a nail. This one is also super, super pretty. So for bronzers, I think I'm going to pull out a palette this week. So I'm not going to take out anything else out of the bronzer section. Um, For face powders, though, I know I want to use the Makeup Obsessions Pure Bake Banana Baking Powder. Um, Obviously in the shade Banana. I'm working my way through this. It's not a lot of product in there. And I think, you know, it's a really nice product. I did enjoy it, but I do want to test it out some more. I know I want to pull out a face palette, so I might have a highlight in there. So I think I'm not going to pull out any highlighters just for that reason to make me use a face palette because, you know, I'm never good with these things. And I've been thinking a lot about single shadows lately, especially my ColourPop ones. Um, and I have a few here that um, I did get a little whiles ago. One I've had for a while, but these three right here are my most recent ones. And um, this one I've been had prickly pear for a while, and this one's absolutely stunning, but I'm not going to use that one. Um, I think I want to pull out Tea Party because it's such a beautiful pinky shade, and I'm... I don't know, debating on the palette, but I think I can really use this with any palette that I use, um, that I pull out this week. So this one's really, really pretty. And I also have Frog, which is also a very pretty shade. Oh, that's also very pretty. Frog. Oh, look, I am a mess. Oh my God, do you guys not see this right now? Like, oh my gosh. Um, and we have 
Moonwalk. Oh, I just love ColourPop's formula. They're fucking stunning. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's super pretty. I hope the camera's picking that up. Look at that. I think I'm going to pull out um, Moonwalk because it's so interesting. So Moonwalk and Tea Party will be joining me this evening. I think that is it. And you know what? I haven't used this either. And I'm just, you know, because I'm a mess. But I saw someone um, talk about their nude stick, these nude stick pens in a tutorial or declutter or something like that. I know I saw this and it just got me thinking about the one that I had. And this is the nude stick in the shade Copper Foil. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Creamy formula. And these are the type of sh um, shadows that you just pop on your eye, blend it out, and go. Like, it's so easy, but it looks like you were there forever. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take this out as well and incorporate it in my looks this week. Now for my lipstick drawer. Um... I wasn't really thinking about anything in here. <laughs> Obviously, nudes. Honestly, my lipstick really depends on um, my looks, like my eyeshadow looks. You know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to pop out some glosses or something like that just to pop on with a shade if I do decide to pop out some lipsticks because right now I am so like stuck with lips. But I was thinking about this L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss in the shade Shell, Shell We Dance, which is super, super pretty. And they smell like my childhood. Super beautiful. Love it. Smells delicious. Um, yeah, nothing out of that section. And you know what? Why don't we also take out this Dominique Cosmetic Gloss as well. This is the Lemonade Gloss in the shade Peach Tea, which is also heaven. Love these. See, and it's a different shade from the L'Oreal one. You can tell such a huge difference so going down to my eyeshadow drawer and i'm gonna just join you guys down here okay now down here with you guys for eyeshadow i think i should pull out my norvina pla um, palette because i haven't played with her since i've gotten her and did a tutorial using her and i really wanted to play with her more but you know how it is with other palettes coming in and everything and it's so much fun because look at all these pops of color like hello so i think this will match up very nice with um those color pop single shadows as well like this will look so stunning so i'm gonna pull this palette out and there was another palette that I used briefly this week. Um, now I was thinking about using that as well. And I was also thinking about the Daisy Marquez palette. Because this one is also very, very pretty. Like, hello. Look how beautiful she is. And I haven't used her either. But aren't these um, palettes similar? Or is it just me? Let me open up the Norvina one. Yeah, there are some similarities. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of similarities in these palettes. Both of them side by side do look very similar. So I think I'm just going to pull out the Norvina one. And use the um, pull out the Benefit one some other time. Um, I know back here I have the Ace Beauty Beauté scarlet dust one and i used this one and it was super super pretty i used like all these orangey tones in here and they were so stunning but i didn't play with these pinky burgundy tones down here hmm so i don't know whether to pull this one out or also i have this violet voss essentials that i didn't use either and this one has some nice pops of color you know, and this one, I was thinking about decluttering it, but I didn't because, you know, I didn't really get much use of it and I really wanted to give it a fair chance. So I think I'm going to pull this one out as well. 
I do see some similar shades, actually a lot of similar shades in this palette that are in the um, Norvina palette. I just noticed that right now. But you know what? I think I'm going to just still use it because I've been here long enough just contemplating on eyeshadows. My face palette drawer, which is a drawer that I rarely go into here with you guys. So um, I have some face palettes here. Hmm... I need one with a bronzer and a highlight in it because obviously I wasn't going to highlight. I didn't pull out any highlights or bronzers. So, mm, palettes that have bronzers in them and also highlights. I have this um, Cover Effects Perfector, Perfector Face Palette in medium deep um i haven't used this in a while either my legs are killing me because this contouring shade is really super dark like and if i do not go light-handed which is <laughs> basically i never go light-handed i will look like somebody punched me in the face so that's why i really pull this out but i think i need to and if not i need to just finally declutter her because you know i'm not gonna use it so i'm gonna take this out this week and see if she's gonna make it or not and i think just to play it safe i'm gonna pull out another contouring palette in here i love the benefit um kits because they're just so fucking amazing oh how about this one this is the physician's formula butter collection palette in medium deep it brings the butter bronzer in deep. It brings a blush and it brings two highlighters. I believe these are limited edition highlighters, so I don't think these are available in their singles, or I may be wrong, but this is very nice. These highlighters are complete butter, like, and super, super pigmented, like, oh my God, do you not see that? especially this shade like can someone say wet glass yes i'm gonna pull out this one to be my backup well, that's it for this drawer excuse the funky angle still i'm still trying to work on this whole tripod setup for mascaras Let's see for mascaras i think i want to pull out this one because i haven't been using this one either um this is the smashbox x-rated mascara love the packaging it's super pretty and um the bristles look really nice as well it's really wet like hmm, i don't know too wet of a formula kind of scares me does it square scare anybody else or it's just me i'm really trying to run through my um brow pencils so hmm. i like this one but the pen on it is like super thick thick yeah you know i haven't used this one in a while so um let's take out the la girl shady slim brow pencil in the shade so yeah this is really nice it's thin it gets the job done and i'm like i said i'm just really trying to run through all my products so taking that out and i do have a brow gel that's in a project pan still and for setting sprays i have a few here and a few up top there but you know i've been using those constantly i think for sprays i have the dewy one I think I'm going to use iHeart Revolution Fixing Spray in Guava and Rose. This one is nice from what I can remember. So I'm going to take this one out. Okay, guys, this is all the makeup that I pulled out for my shop, my stash for the next few weeks. These are all the products right here, except for this. This is my eye serum. But... Yeah, these are the palettes, lips, concealers, foundation, all that. So I will be putting this in my everyday makeup drawer. If you want to continue to see these dysfunctional, crazy, all over the place videos, you guys just know what to do. Like, subscribe to join my little glowing family. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!